you are welcome to study by yourself in this video i'm going to show you how to get a straight a in chemistry i'm going to give you tips that i didn't get when i was in school you know i don't want students to struggle like the way i did that's why i started this channel study by yourself you know after watching this video you're going to study chemistry with ease and there will be no stress because you know what it takes to pass the exam a lot of people do not pass certain papers not because they don't know because they didn't know the tricks you know you can answer a question but the shortest way to answer the question is the best because exam is time bound your test book without a past question is incomplete because you know those who wrote the test book are not those who are setting the questions the past questions are there as a standard for you to know how the questions are set so the sections you have objectives the theory and the practicals which most of you are aware of if you are in school the objectives what are some of the questions that mostly come down there are 50 questions 50 objective questions some of them are calculation and then others are also general knowledge in chemistry okay so the theory aspect as a compulsory part and then the, there's the optional part now, chemistry is an all-encompassing subject such that you need to understand one topic to understand the other and these topics have connections for you to be able to pass chemistry you should know and understand all the topics because hybridization is depending on organic chemistry titration is depending on more concepts there are some basic topics the, those topics are the foundational topics so you need to understand or you need to know the periodic table now with the you just need to know your first 20 elements you need to know how to name organic compounds and then inorganic compounds you need to know how to balance equations very well you see you need to be an expert in these areas so that you would boldly see that you have your a right after writing your paper you should know your definitions as well for the theory you should know how to explain now when it comes to calculation you need to know your units very well otherwise you would have your answer correct but your units would prevent you from getting the full mark identify certain diagrams when it comes to electrochemistry and the graph and so on so you should be able to identify all those diagrams you should also be able to memorize those in certain topics and then you should be able to state them now these are the tips to study chemistry now in the next slide i'm going to talk to you about how to pass chemistry so you should have your foundational knowledge another thing is also breaking down of equations and balancing of equations you would meet equations you have the reactant and the product you should be able to identify the reactant and the product know what the coefficient is and the subscript is as well you have to go to the lab to experience some things hands-on because they are in the books we get to the slide where i'll talk about how to answer practical questions and then certain tips that you might not be told it's only those who have experienced writing of the chemistry practicals they are those who can tell you what to do and what not to do that it's one thing to know something and it's another thing to be able to put it into practice you can hear about something when you are asked to do it you can even memorize the steps and describe it but when you do it that is when you know that you don't put a in b before putting b in a now you should also practice problem solving and your past question will be there to help you know the type of problem solving questions you can be asked because some of the questions that are asked are actually not in your textbook you use different learning resources you know chemistry is such that you don't see whatever you are told you are told that there's a chemical reaction hydrogen atom is is reacting with oxygen atom and so on you are not seeing it so use different textbooks watch videos use images you can go online ask questions don't take it as it is don't do rote learning just memorize it and then pour it most of the questions that you are asked in your YEC final exam are practical you know some people write the YEC to enter um, universities outside west africa and so on so the questions need to be standard to be able to pass the wasi you should be a master you should gain mastery over the topics reflect and learn from mistakes as students we are always told not to make mistakes you know we, we don't want to see our mistakes but making mistakes will help you to know where you are falling short where your weakness is, so that you give attention to your weakness if you are always getting everything right you don't know what you don't know until you know what you don't know you wouldn't give attention to your weakness after you are done writing maybe your mock or maybe a school exam or a quiz or a test pick your paper and then look at the mistakes you made pick a previous year paper look at the mistakes sometimes your mistakes 
they run through there's a certain type of mistake maybe it's about balancing of equation not reading the um, instructions very well maybe ignoring of units and so on so when you get to know the mistakes you mostly make you give attention to it so that you don't make those mistakes again the exam is a stage for you to perform you can't afford to fail your final exam whatever you do before the work exam is like a training phase so go all out push yourself during your training phase so that you know where you need to give attention to now it says to pass chemistry let's we'll start with the theory most questions need understanding of more than one topic i already explained this after you are done with the syllabus when you look at the topics you can see a connection between them use the correct units as i said in calculations and with the practicals read volume from the menace course you are going to be using the burette the pipette and so on you're going to be measuring the volume of liquids and so on you're also going to be looking at qualitative which deals with identifying precipitates color changes you know the difference between yellow pink you should be able to identify precipitates cloudiness now with the practicals we have alternative a b and c so if in your class you are a lot some of some of you will be writing the alternative a alternative b alternative c and all these the questions are different now that we have the qualitative part and the quantitative part the qualitative is identification of ions and then the quantitative is with the titration different types of titration now we should also know how to handle laboratory apparatus with some definitions and certain explanations are needed now to my favorite part which is the why chemistry topics topics that are most likely to drop you have the atomic structure periodic chemistry atomic size ionic size and so on interatomic bonds then more concepts and chemical reactions and equations now nuclear chemistry state of matter energy and energy changes rate of reaction chemical reactions chemical equilibrium acid basin and so on so the next one is solubility redox reaction chemistry industry and environment i wouldn't want you to just watch this video and just go away there are other videos i have made on why exposed so i would likely urge you to click on the video floating on the screen to help you pass another subject 